Welcome back to GearWire.com, I'm Owen O'Malley. In this video we're going to take a look at proper mid-side stereo mixing techniques in Apple Logic, making use of Logic's direction mixer utility. Mid-side is one of the more advanced recording, uh, stereo recording and mixing techniques, as it requires a bit more planning and thoughtful execution, but it can achieve some of the most natural sounding stereo imaging and it also allows for more flexibility in mixing as it allows for adjustments to the width of the stereo image post tracking. Now in order to correctly track mid-side you'll need at least one mic capable of figure eight or bi-directional pickup. Uh, that's your side mic. The second mic could be cardioid, omni, or figure eight. For this example we're using an Audio-Technica AT4080 ribbon mic as the side mic and a fixed cardioid Audix CX112 condenser. Uh, and that's our mid mic. The CX-112 is pointed directly at the source, in this case me singing and playing guitar, and the AT4080 is at a 90 degree angle to that axis. Typically you want to use mics of as close a frequency response as possible for mid-side so as to avoid phasing issues, uh, but these mismatched mics will work for the purposes of this demonstration. Mid-side is a near coincident miking technique so you want the two mic elements to be as close to one another as possible. So now we've already tracked our performance, so let's take a look at what's in the mixing window in Logic here. Uh, you see we've got two mono recordings uh, with the mid or CX-112 track uh, in track one, uh, and our side recording, the AT4080 ribbon mic, is in track two. Now, if we wanted to accomplish mid-side manually, uh, here's what we do. We take the side track, well actually what we do is we add a track here, new mono track. Then we take our track one recording and we copy it over here. Sorry, we take our track two recording and copy it over to track three. Then we go into the inserts for track three utility gain and we phase invert that duplicate track. Now we go back and hard pan left and right our two side tracks. And now we'll select our mid track and play back. Candles waxing takes my apartment up asking its magic. And now you can hear we can adjust the stereo width all the fire by adjusting the volume of the uh, of the mid track. Staying up later, waking up old, and I'm leaving her never. Ordering in all friends and lovers, and we're making our weather with a long light bulb. Okay, which is uh. That's sort of fine uh, if we're not going to do any overdubs in this session, but if we do have some more recording to add here, you can see how this can be a little bit cluttered. Uh, there's definitely a cleaner way of accomplishing mid-side in Logic that'll make more complex mixing sessions uh, a little easier to accomplish. So now you can see we're back to our original setup. We've got our two mono tracks. Nothing is panned. Now we're going to use Logic's built-in direction mixer utility. Uh, one of the ways the Direction Mixer Utility can function is as a mid-side decoder. And here's how you correctly implement that. First we go to our mid-track, change the output to bus 1. Okay. Now you can see we've created a new aux track, and I've already got the Direct Mixer loaded in here. that's found under Imaging, Direction Mixer, Stereo. And you can see it's already there. So let's just click there and, and bring up the Direction Mixer interface. This is what it looks like. Now typically when you first bring it up, you'll have uh, the left-right button illuminated here, but we want to do mid-side decoding, so we're going to click there. Now let's go back to our side track, do the same thing, switch the output to bus 1, which is now also aux 1, that's in our direction mixer. Now we want to take our mid track, which is track 1, and hard pan it 
left, and then track two, hard pan right. And now let's play back. Candles waxing takes my apartment up basking its magic. All the fire fires put out my fires and took all my matches. Now you see we've got this spread control. Staying up late this is now the way that we adjust our stereo image. In addition to spread control, we have direction control. That's the way. Some big exhaustion, the mode of expression. Which acts as a That's master pan for our summed and decoded mid side stereo. Let's take a look at our mix window, and you can see how much cleaner this is. Now instead of having three tracks, which we would have to sort of adjust individually in the context of a larger mix, we merely have aux one, and that's our summed mid-side stereo track. Makes things a lot cleaner, uh, a lot easier to sort of play with in the context of a larger mix. So that's how you use Logic's built-in direction mixer utility as a mid-side encoder to make uh, working with mid-side stereo uh, information a lot easier in the context of a larger track. You've been watching GearWire.com, and I'm Owen O'Malley. Thanks for checking us out.